Hey guys, it's Austin here with OutJeepy, and in today's video we're going to be doing a Flowmaster 50 series muffler install on a Jeep or Dodge 4.7 liter V8 engine. Now today we're going to be doing it on my 2007 Dodge Ram 1500, but it has the same engine as what you can find in a Grand Cherokee or Commander that has a 4.7 liter. We're doing the install and a sound test to see what it all sounds like. Now as you heard as I backed in, this truck is actually a little bit louder than it should be. That's because the tailpipe actually rusted off from the back of the stock muffler. So it's pretty much needs some work. So I'm going to show you guys how to replace the muffler today. All right, so all the parts I'm gonna be using today in the video, I'm gonna post in the link in the description below so you guys can find it. Um, but to start off, we got a Flowmaster uh, Delta Flow Series right here. I opted for the three inch offset one because the factory muffler on how um, it lines up, it's not center to center. It does have a slight offset actually from up and down. So we're gonna have to adjust this to accommodate that, make sure the tailpipe lines up and everything um, like so. Now we also got an adapter right here. This has a three inch outer diameter, so that way it can fit right into here. And then it has a 2.75 inner diameter, and that's gonna fit on the end of my tailpipe because I'm still able to use my uh, stock tailpipe, so it should all work fine. And then since this muffler is a little bit shorter, I have a piece of three inch um, tubing right here that's gonna make up the difference on the uh, loss distance that the uh, new muffler has. And then we also have a couple clamps right here. These are called band clamps. I opted for the stainless steel so that way they don't rust out. I'm only going to be using two of them. That way when I get the muffler all in there, I can adjust it to get that angle right um, for the offset and then just clamp it down. Um, but there is going to be two more joints um, since we have an extension piece and we got this little adapter. And instead of clamping that to save some money, I'm actually just going to weld it. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that too. All right, so looking under the truck here, this is what I have going on currently. As you can see, this is the old muffler, and this is where the tailpipe used to go. And my tailpipe actually rusted off where this uh, attachment goes, and I was able to cut off the clamp on the tailpipe, and the tailpipe is actually intact, and there's really no rust on there at all. So I'm lucky, and I'm able to reuse that and just have that adapter go on there. Um, but as you can see, there's a rust hole here, and there's a rust hole on the bottom. So this thing does get pretty loud. Now when I cut this thing off, I'm actually going to attempt to uh, save these hangers up here because you still need a hanger um, for this vehicle specifically to uh, hold up the muffler. And so I'm going to attempt to cut these off and re-weld them to my new muffler. Um, if I can't do that, I'm basically just going to have to go to an auto parts store and get a universal exhaust hanger and do it that way. Now looking over here on the front of the muffler, as you can see we do have an exhaust hanger right after where the muffler attaches to. I didn't see this before, but it's just going to be a little bit different plan of attack. Um, this right here is actually a clamp, so um, there's probably no way to get that bolt out since it's so rusted. So what I'm going to be doing is actually just cutting a slit right here, taking this band clamp off, and then I'm going to try and wiggle out the muffler right here, and then I can take my new pipe and slide it over this 3 inch pipe right here. That way I can still utilize this exhaust hanger. Now one thing right off the bat, if you are doing this on this exact model, they actually did put a little spot weld right here, as you can see. So when you're cutting, just make sure that um, you might have to uh, twist this off or break it or just cut around it. That way the clamp should come off. All right, so I just got my cutoff wheel right here with some safety glasses on, and we're gonna cut off this clamp. You wanna make sure that you don't go too deep on this because you don't wanna damage this pipe that you're gonna be utilizing right here. So make sure you only go about an eighth of an inch deep, so that way you're just cutting off the clamp. All right, as you heard, that popped free. I'm gonna make another cut right here just to go around that spot weld so that way I can take it off all the way. Get yourself something to pry with and try to pry this clamp away. It's always good just to leave your safety glasses on because if you got a rusty muffler or exhaust, there's gonna be a lot of rust crap that's falling down. You don't wanna get that in your eyes. I've done that before and it hurts. All right, so it's basically off. I don't have to get it off all the way. I'm just gonna let it hang there. And now I'm gonna attempt to uh, take this muffler off 
if it's kind of like rust welded to this pipe, what you can do is actually cut a slit in the old muffler and help widen that um, so it breaks a bond between this uh, pipe right here and the muffler. Okay, so to help me out furthermore on trying to wiggle this muffler off, I'm actually going to take off these isolators that uh, hold up the rear end of the muffler. Um, I'm going to be using a little bit of uh, penetrating oil, so I'm just WD-40 to help lube this up. Um, that way they should hopefully be able to slide off easily. Alright, so I got it to slide on the shafts. Now the biggest part is getting it over that nipple on the end that kind of helps keep it on there. So this might take a little work at it. Alright, so I got those isolators off so the muffler is actually nice and free. And I did notice when this uh, clamp is off that around the pipe there actually is some creases in the muffler part where you can actually take a screwdriver hammer it in there and kind of peel it away. So I managed to do that in a couple spots around the pipe. Um, I did notice with my exhaust I actually have a broken clamp way up front that connects this to the down pipe um, by the engine. So it actually is wiggling around a little bit but um, I think I can still get this off without having to mess up that. I'm just going to have to replace the clamp with a new one on the front later on. I'm just going to take the muffler and just kind of wiggle it and try and pull it back. I can already see that the gap is forming. There we go. That's our old muffler. Alright, so if you want, you can see what your car sounds like without a muffler on it. It's basically straight piped with uh, catalytic converters on it, so why not? Let's just see what it sounds like. Alright, so I got everything all laid out and this is basically how we're going to be installing it. As you can see, I have the old muffler up there and I got the new one down here with our extension piece. So starting up towards the front of the vehicle, I do have this extension piece I just got from Advance Auto. It has a 3 inch inner diameter, so that's basically just going to slip onto our 3 inch pipe that's on the truck. And this piece is what we're going to have to cut down to uh, size to make it the same length as our old muffler right here. And on the truck side, I'm actually going to be clamping it just in case I have to remove this in the future. And then over here, I'm going to be welding it to the muffler. Now coming to the end of the muffler, I have this adapter right here. And I'm basically, it's actually going in this way. Um, so I'm going to be clamping it on this surface here and welding this to the old pipe right here, which I'm going to have to clean up. It looks rusty, but it's actually pretty strong. That's just surface rust. So. Um, I decided to weld it on here because this is a two and three quarter size and I only bought three inch clamps So I'm just gonna be welding to this piece and clamping on the back of the muffler here and on the front of the front pipe up there Now as far as exhaust hangers I'm actually going to get the muffler all situated up into the truck first And then I'm actually going to cut off the old exhaust hangers on here and see where they line up on the muffler um, Hopefully it might be pretty easy and then I could just weld it to the back of the muffler right here and that way I should have exhaust hangers. Alright so I'm just going to take a flap disc and try and clean up this tailpipe and get all the rust off there that way I have a nice clean surface to weld on. Alright so I got this pipe all cleaned up and I'm going to be welding it right where this uh, pipe goes back to 3 inch so that way I get a nice groove in there to put a puddle of weld. Um, I should also mention this is stainless steel. I didn't realize that when I ordered it online So hopefully it should weld fine to a uh, mild steel, but we'll figure it out um, I'm gonna be welding with a flux core welder. I got a uh, Lincoln Electric uh, 125 HD with uh, 35 wires, so hopefully this should weld fine Alright, so I went and got this welded up. I did mess up on this and actually welded the wrong side to it. So, uh, lesson learned that you should always double check before you're welding. Make sure you have everything in its proper place. I ended up welding the three inch side over here. So, yeah, it didn't turn out good. I had to cut it off and re weld it. And welding to the stainless steel is actually fairly difficult. I kept uh, burning holes through even on the lowest setting of the welder. But it's not pretty by any means. It's probably my best spot right there but it's gonna hold so what I'm gonna do now is actually fit up the exhaust underneath the truck and I'm gonna measure out that little extension piece and see how much uh, we're gonna need and cut it and then fit everything back together 
All right, so I have the muffler and tailpipe uh, sitting here. I have it basically on a jack stand for underneath the muffler for now until I get everything all sorted out with the measurements. And then I just got the rear exhaust hanger for the tailpipe connected. So it's up in the air right now. And as you can see, it's not exactly straight, but that's where we're gonna tweak this and twist it because since it's offset, um, it's gonna align differently as you rotate it. So I still have, it's not exactly where it has to be um, because the tailpipe is actually touching the, the uh, rear quarter panel. Um, so we're gonna have to twist it later, but we have it in the exact spot as for what we need for measurements. So what I'm gonna do is take a measurement and we're gonna cut it onto our extension piece right here. This is an 18 inch extension piece, which is plenty for this. I know on this extension piece, I'm gonna utilize this uh, flange right here so that way I can slide the old pipe over here inside of here and we're going to have to make up for that difference in the pipe so basically it's going to engage two inches into here and then where this pipe goes into the muffler it's going to engage also two inches and I'm going to measure about two inches off of that pipe from here to the end of the muffler it's about ten and a quarter so from there I'm just going to add two inches so I'm going to cut my pipe at around 12 and a quarter. All right, so I got my marks all made around here and I put a piece of tape on it so that way I can cut as straight as possible and that way it's not an angle. It certainly should help a lot. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up the edges um, so I don't cut myself on there. So I went and also just took off uh, the aluminized coating that's on here. That way when I weld this to the muffler, it should be a nice clean surface without any contamination. So the next thing we're gonna do is fit this up to the muffler, make sure everything's all right. Then we're gonna take off the muffler and weld this onto the muffler and then reinstall it one more time um, for the last install. All right, so I test fitted everything and it fits all nice in there. So I'm gonna go and weld this joint up real quick. And I also remove the paint that's on here because they do have some black paint on the muffler. That way I should get a nice clean welding surface. All right, so that joint is all welded up. It did weld a lot better than uh, welding to that stainless steel. It still is, you know, not pretty welds at all. It is hard to get into a comfortable position when you're doing this on the floor and trying to flip this over and have it stay in place. So. Um, yeah, it's under the circumstance. It was pretty hard. I can definitely weld better with flux core But just doing this is a little bit difficult, but the weld should hold just fine So now I'm going to go and install this for the final time All right So the exhaust is all fitted up nicely and I have it exactly where I want it and I did that by just adjusting um, This joint right here and also on the back of the muffler and that's going to help um, Get the angle right for your tailpipe make sure it's coming out at the right angle and that um, none of the piping is hitting anything um, hard. That way you don't have any rattles. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is permanently hold in place. And I'm gonna do that with these three inch band clamps. And with these clamps right here, um, the style I got, it's basically a five eighths nut on there. I'm gonna slip it over this joint and tighten it up. But before I do that, I'm gonna take some uh, heat resistant antices and put it on the threads just in case I have to take this off in the future. Now, if you wanted to, you could have put this on beforehand, but you can manage to uh, stretch it out and flip it over just like I did. All right, so I'm gonna position this so that the bolt side is on top, so that way it leaves a nice clean appearance if you were to look under here. And then I'm just gonna start tightening it up. So I got it pretty tight on there right now. I'm not gonna crank on it all the way because I wanna put the other one on and make sure everything's all right before I finally tighten everything up. All right, so as you can see, I got everything into place and it's actually holding up pretty good. I think today I'm just gonna skip on the exhaust hanger that goes on the back of the muffler because it's actually holding up pretty good. And I do have a hanger right over here. So it's not like it's you know hanging on from the header. So I think at another time I'm gonna add that later. No, I actually do have a little movement right here. And that's actually because of the front clamp, like I mentioned earlier, that totally broke. So I'm just gonna have to go to the store and get another three inch clamp and clamp that to the down pipe, to this pipe right here. And then my movement should be completely illuminated. But I'm gonna go and 
torque down the clamps some more and make sure that's all tight. I do like these band clamps a lot more than just the normal cheap ones you get at the auto parts store because they don't crimp the pipe and ruin it. Um, they just give it a nice snug fit. Plus these are stainless steel so they won't rust out. The only thing that will rust maybe is the bolt but that's replaceable. All right, so it is a couple days later now and I actually did put this clamp on here before I started driving around and that held the uh, rest of the exhaust in place without that weird twisting motion. Now on the back side of the muffler, I did utilize one of the old hangers off the old exhaust and just welded it on here so that way it's nice and solid. And then I took some high temperature paint and just touched it up so that way I don't have any rusting. And I did that around the welds on the pipes as well. So now as you can see, this thing is solid in there and when I did weld this into place I took a jack and actually jacked up the muffler about an inch that way when the weight of it sags down there's pressure on this uh, isolator right here so that way it's actually doing work and not just free roaming in space. Alright so we're going to do a sound test outside the garage that way we don't get any weird echo from inside there. Um, I do apologize it is a little bit windy today so hopefully this won't wreck the audio. Alright, so a little sound test from inside the cab. I'm just going to do this um, while I'm parked. That way you can only really hear um, the exhaust noise besides the wind noise and other stuff that's going on with the truck. So it's not terribly loud at all. When it drops down to 750 RPM, it actually is pretty quiet. And surprisingly, it isn't really droney on the highway. The only time you get a mild drone is at around 2000 RPM when you're under load. But other than that, when it drops to overdrive, when you're going down the freeway, it's actually pretty quiet. And my gas light turned on. Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As you saw, if you have the right tools, you can pretty much do any type of exhaust work. It's not overly complicated. You just got to take your time, do some measurements, and make sure you get everything fitted properly, and then it should treat you good. Now, I am very happy with the results that I got from this muffler. I finally got a tailpipe in my truck. I haven't had it on here since I bought it. Uh, because the previous owner, which is actually my friend's dad, um, the exhaust tailpipe uh, fell off on him and it was just hanging by the hanger because it rusted out from the back of the muffler and it's you know, been loud ever since. So I'm pretty happy with it. It is definitely a lot quieter in the cab, which is what I was looking for, and it has a good tone to it. I'm not looking for anything obnoxious. You know, that's why I got the Jeep, which is pretty loud without any catalytic converters. I will also mention that I still do have catalytic converters on this truck because, you know, I don't want any check engine lights or anything like that. There's no point in me taking them off. And the stock tailpipe does actually have a little tiny resonator in there too. Um, so that might affect the uh, final sound coming out of the exhaust. And I know it's not a Jeep video, but these 47 V8s, they're found in Jeeps, they're found in Dodges, they're found in a lot of vehicles, Grand Cherokees, Commanders, um, you know, Durangos, and they are in the Ram 1500s like mine right here. So your setup's gonna be probably a little bit different on other vehicles, but hopefully the sound testing will be similar results if you're looking to go with this muffler. But if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the OutGP YouTube channel. It'll help keep these videos coming. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure to post them below, and I'll be happy to answer. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.